Alright, welcome back to Enshrouded. We are in a new patch, and we got a whole bunch of new things. We're going to go through this all today. This is the uh, Back to the Shroud. We're going to start here with coffins. So, there are 40 items. When you log into the game, you're just going to be able to craft right away. And these are, for the, from the patch, these are mostly at the Carpenter. There are two items at the Blacksmith. And then there are 16 fossils in a scavenger hunt. You scavenger hunt, hunt. What's a hunt? Scavenger hunt that you have to go around the world and find. We have found all those. There are nine artifacts. We have found all those. There's new building block. We'll see down there at the end. There is also a new set of armor. We have found all but the helm. Cub, which is cool username bro, has assured people that it is in the game and nobody can find it yet. But it has only been just a hair over 24 hours. We'll see what happens. So we're going to start here and uh, I have most of these in here so I can tell you what each one is. We're going to start with just simple coffin. Very simple. It has a lid. You can put the lid directly on it. You can put the lid on it and kind of... Uh, Maybe you want to do some interesting things with it, like look at, make it look like it's open a little bit. You can uh, do a little number like that. Works great. It's very cool. We're going to go over next into just Coffin. Coffin's got a skull on it, and so does the lid for it. Now, these have, how to explain this? solid collision. These are just a rectangle. I can't actually go inside of them, which I think is a missed opportunity, but that's okay. We'll deal with it for now. We're going to go next into Big Coffin, which, you know, lives up to its name. It is a big boy coffin. It's got it got its own lid as well. And we're going to move into, this is a pair, so this is going to be Large Crypt Coffin Variant 1 and Variant 2. But we have a problem large crypt coffin lid is the wrong size <laughs> that doesn't fit at all it is not even close to the correct size so uh, yeah I think it was meant to be probably this size right here and somebody messed up so look for a hot fix in the future to fix that because yeah that's not quite right we're gonna move into the solid pieces now you got a large elevated crypt coffin very cool indeed. It's going to make some very interesting graveyards now. We're going to move into a, sm a small crypt, but it's a mausoleum now. I really like the detail on it. Very cool looking. Then we get into a really big boy, large crypt mausoleum. Very nice. Huge monster. Now, Here's something I think is really cool, but also a missed opportunity. Standing Crypt Coffin. This should be a hidden door. Or or give us a second version that is a hidden door. Come on, Keen. It's it's perfect to be a hidden door. These are perfect to be hidden. Like this thing would you know slide off and you would go down a ladder or something on the inside. Come on. Just give it to us. <laughs> uh, these are vases. There's three different ones. They all have the same name. There's three different sizes. This is just going to be a stone... I didn't put it... Even leave it in there. It's just a stone shelf. Double bed! We have finally have a real double bed. We only have one style so far, the palm wood. We'll get there. I'm I'm hoping they'll give us all of them except for... I, I think the straw mat might be a little weird to have as a double. But it is what it is. Now for your only two pieces that are on blacksmith. They're prison fence. They both say the same thing. And it just adds to the other prison fence that was in there from the previous patch. And we still have no door. So, yeah, maybe in the next patch we'll get a prison door. <laughs> so here is the new block. It is mixed sandstone block. I can show you exactly where, where to get that one. I'm not going to show you where you get everything because, my God, it's pain. And it's all listed everywhere online anyway. All right. So make sure I'm in the right spot here. That's weird, it doesn't show... Oh, you know what? It's because my stuff rolled back on me. So, just south of here, somewhere right about there. Yeah, it's somewhere right about here. There's a... You can see it. As soon as you get up there, it's, it's a, a ruined structure, a uh, little town. It's got a huge tower lounge on top of the tower. Bam. Then you got yourself some blocks. I really like the, the look of the bottom, so the ceiling. Very cool looking. 
yeah, it gives us a, a new option to uh, test around with. This is the floor. I mean, very sandstone-like. Lives up to its name. Alright, so now let's get to the displays. Uh, the first and easiest way to tell the difference is they do look the same in your inventory. I don't have them in my inventory now. Green is going to be for artifacts. Blue is going to be for fossils. On this blue, you can see the little fossil right there. Whereas on this blue, you can't because it's too small. So you come up to them, you hit open, and then you can place items in there. You can change them around, do whatever you want with them. It's completely up to you how you place them. But then these tell you what you have displayed. So I'll just kind of go through them so that you can see what they are. I don't have every single fossil. There's 16 fossils, so I don't have them all listed. But you got this crab over here. You got the urchin and you got the lobster. It's not really a lobster, but you get the idea. Um, this one here, so it, it's both of these guys, the real big one, they're meant for center clearly because they display both directions. There is no front. And so these big ones are definitely meant to be in the center of a room, a, a showcase, if you will. But it allows you to put both. So you can put your large crystals, if you like, but you can also put your smaller items and pick and choose whatever you decide you want to put on there. Uh, it is the same thing with the fossils. You get a mix between the mediums and the smalls. I shouldn't have called that large. Those are mediums on the other. But yeah, it gives you some uh, pretty interesting different choices here. It's very nice looking. Some That's a big ass tooth, man. That tooth is that's as big as my entire upper torso. I don't know what the hell it came from, but I sure shouldn't want to be bit by it. And like these, same thing. You can just pick and choose. It's very similar to your armor tab. How you can just click on something different if you want to. And there is only one crystal. And it doesn't glow. So my thought on that is if you get one of the glow... Let's see. It's kind of a reddy blue... Hmm. I don't know if we have one that would make it glow well. But let's see. Let's see what people play with and try to come up with something. And then here you got some, I think these are trilobites. Yep. Trilobites. All right. Let's take a look at what everybody's probably here for. So these are your mannequins. There are six different ones. So six different poses. Pick whatever you want for your gear. I'm kind of a little miffed that we can't put a weapon on these also. I think that would be cool if, you know, like he's reaching up and he's got a big old staff and he's about to bring it down. You shall not pass! You know, and I, I would need to put a Gandalf suit on him, but you know what I mean. So this is your new set. As you can see, we have not found the helm. So it is the Elite Hollow. I'm going to take it all off so I can show you the stats. Oh, backpack's full. Of course it is. So, what do we got? We've got not quite the highest amount of resistance, but the health on this is just insane. 240 health, 10%. So it's clearly meant for running in the hollow halls. There it is. So then you got 12% to blunt damage. So whichever you choose, for example, I happen to run with a... Uh, blunt wand so whenever i'm in the hollow halls or i'm fighting down in the shroud that's what i use everything over land i use the helix and it's just is what it is and then i use this thing for the rest so i think having the blunt what i still need to do a test on is whether or not so this 12 percent blunt damage is that going to be superior to me to what i'm wearing which is 12 percent wand damage because while this 36 damage is all blunt I also do 7% ice, or 7 ice damage, 7 ice damage twice. So 14 ice damage additionally, most likely this does not affect that. However, my gloves 
that I currently wear should affect the 36 and the 14, therefore being more damage. And therefore, as much as I like these, I don't think they're going to be as good unless I'm using that. So, in any case, it's a very cool set. Let's uh, open this thing back up. Show you these two. So we got the hollow boots, uh, stamina health regen, very nice. I it would be personally, I would like to see four health regen, four and four, because it is not the highest. Twenty eight, fifteen, I think is the highest. There it is, pants. So four health regen, nine stam. This nine stam is crap. It should be nine stam regen in my opinion, but eh, it's whatever. Four health regen is very nice. The one I set I run with is uh, four health regen and or two health regen and ninety health. It is not a bad set. That's what I happened. I put the Fowler gloves on there, dummy. Dur dur dur. dur. I did it again. I'm gonna get this right one of these days. There we go. So you can see your poses. Very cool. You can place so far as we know as many of these as you want. You've got a set here, a stand, that gives you a shield and a pair of weapons. That's going to make for some very interesting looks. I already know people are going to cinch this into the wall to make it look like it's coming off the wall that way. Two-hander, one-hander, daggers, bow. What we are missing is a wall bow, which I think that's an oversight. And then this one that doesn't make any sense at all. So if you look at this... To me, that says I have that forward. Why is the face on the back? I, yep, I don't know. I don't have a good answer for that. Maybe it's just that particular staff. Then you got a double wand holder. I think that looks really cool, to be honest. That, that one's my favorite. This shield one seems oddly low to me. Then you got a staff, a two-hander. You got another shield option, a wall. A one-hander... I think I would like to see this being two one-handers and a wand. And again, I think I would like to see that to be a pair of wands. But I still like it. I, I, you know, it's still cool to have. So Carpenter has pretty much everything. And yes, you, you're going to see I have all kinds of stuff. It's because my character got rolled back forever and it sucks. All right, so we go down here to Decorative. He's got coffins, obviously. He's got these three here. This whole section, everything you see there is all part of the new stuff. And then if you scroll down and you get to this right here, that's the other new item. Yeah. So otherwise, you come to Mr. Blacksmith. There are also two quests. It's a chain quest. And Mr. Blacksmith's going to have here, these two. So we had that. We gained these two. So we've got our corner now, so we can put them together. And we have a door frame that also doesn't match the height of this. It, it, you know, we'll get there. Baby steps. <laughs> All right, folks. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.